Joining me now, the head coach of St. Edwards and Andre Cook. Hilltoppers defeat St. Mary's 78 to 64. Now there are a lot of reasons why this game and this win was big for you. Congratulations. Yes, thank what's the, you. What's the first reason that comes to your mind why this game and this win was so big for your team? Well, it's big for this team in particularly because we've lost four in a row, you know, and three and a half of those four losses, we haven't played very well. So I thought, I didn't feel everyone was upset after the Baptist game because how we lost, lost two in overtime, but I felt better that I thought we came out of whatever form we were. And I, I knew they would play well today. I didn't know if it was good enough to win, but I knew that they were going to bring it and play well. Uh, so that was big, you know, it's big where it came back out of first place of, to, you know, I don't know about Lubbock, what they did, but uh, Zach, Zach's gonna get beat up. <laughs> My GA. We can edit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, and I thought it was important to be a, to catch those guys and be a game back with five to go. You had given up 92 and a half points a game in that four-game losing streak. Just 64 to a St. Mary's team that was averaging 75 a game. So, what was the difference? Quite a turnaround. We just weren't committing to guarding. As I said to you before the game, we didn't have Harley for two of those games, so that hurts us. Uh, you know, we went to Permian Basin, three of them were on the road. I always say, like, your defense has to travel. It did not, it, we have to put the defense in the travel bag. That's how we got to 16 and 2, by guarding and grinding and being tough and aggressive. And we kind of lost our way a little bit. The last game and a half, we, we went back to playing, guarding, and, and that team can do some things. 78 64, the St. Edwards win. So, my first question was, there were a lot of reasons for the yeah. victory being so sweet. And you already listed two. You're nine and six in the Heartland. You're a game back of yeah. St. Mary's. Permian Basin pull went out with the late three, so they're 10 and five. And I, oh, think, they did. I think Fort Smith won, so they're 10 and five, and wow. you're nine and six. Wow. So those are two reasons. But one you didn't mention, you never beaten St. Mary's. And I know, oh, you, I know, I know you're not I one know. for personal no. accolades, and there's a 13 yeah. game losing streak. Yeah. But is there joy, relief, oh, anything yeah, added yeah. to it? I, I said, uh, uh, a handful of my former players say, you know, texted me today, called me today, and I said, uh, I said, well, I hope I can bring my personal uh, winning percentage to like .075 <laughs> against these guys. And uh, you know, hey, it, it, th that team was up on us by 36 at their place. They were up by 36, and they're beating us by 29, maybe or something like that. And it was never a game, and they'd beaten us like that probably of those 13, probably five times. Uh, you know, eventually some team has to, I remember when I coached high school against Jimmer Fredette back in upstate New York, eventually some team has to make a play and say enough is enough. This team said enough is enough of St. Mary's and their fans coming to our gym and saying this is our house. At some point that's got to get you upset. And and this group, who I've loved this group, I told them beforehand, you know, they give me energy and reinvigorated me coaching. Uh, it's been a ton of fun to be around them and I'm proud that this group did it. Great way to do it, and congratulations. Awesome, thanks. thanks it's so always much. good to see you. Good to see you. Andre Cook, head coach of the St. Edwards Hill Toppers as they break the losing streak against the Rattlers and the four-game losing streak here this season. They're just a game back of first now, 78-64 over St. Mary's.